Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is just kind of go over the summary for multiplying complex numbers so you can kind of get an idea of what is it you're supposed to take out you know, from this course. So basically when we multiply in complex numbers, it's pretty much exactly the same as multiplying expressions or multiplying polynomials, um, except that really when it comes down to simplifying, we have a little bit of differences. Uh, so what I'd like to do is just kind of go over you know, the differences and then highlight some tips and tricks as well as some common mistakes that I see a lot with my students. Now, basically when we are going over um, our, our, the, the difference is, is basically when you multiply you know, two imaginary units, i times i, you get i squared, which we represent at, which we can simplify as negative 1. Where i cubed, we can simplify as negative i, and i to the fourth, we always want to simplify as um, positive 1. And then the last thing really is when we're multiplying, we're always going to be combining our imaginary terms, imaginary parts, as well as our real parts, so therefore we get one, one complex number, which is in the form of a plus bi. Now, as far as some kind of tips and tricks, I always think, especially when doing any type of multiplying expressions, polynomials, um, and uh, any type of, you know, even multiplying with complex numbers, is to make sure you have things organized. Rearrange them, like, or make sure they're in complex form as much as possible. Um, and as well as, you know, when we're adding and subtracting, especially when you're trying to simplify, make sure you have your real terms next to the real terms, and your imaginary terms next to your imaginary terms. Therefore, it's much easier to combine and simplify at the end. Also, the last thing is to simplify first. You know, there's a couple times where there might be some opportunities for you to simplify an expression before you actually multiply. That always helps because a lot of times when you multi when you multiply, if you can't if you can simplify before, but you decide to multiply, sometimes the simplifying at the end becomes so much so much more difficult than it really needs to be. Uh, as far as some common mistakes. I basically get a lot of students, you know, kind of forgetting what i, i squared, i cubed, and i fourth uh, really represented mean. So make sure you practice those enough so you can quickly draw on those values for you uh, to be able to apply. Second thing is multiplying incorrectly. I get a lot, you know, especially with students not following distributive property. Um, you know, if I had x plus one and you know x minus two, they might say, oh, these two, and then these two. You got to make sure you understand distributive property and can apply it. So I think you know, also when it goes into the organizing, you know, using the box method, using FOIL, using some things to make sure that you don't incorrectly multiply. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much the basics of uh, your summary um, for multiplying complex numbers. Thanks.